Yo, what's up, Shaney Elemental Gamer? Back again with that Final Fantasy Type-0 HD greatness. So right now I'm heading over to that town over there. Once I get to that town, I can uh, easily uh, just grind in that general area before heading off to the mission. Um, the town that the mission is in, so I'm even gonna do just that right now. Um, I'm facing hunt legs right now, so that's pretty cool. Got the hunt legs all around us and shit. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to, uh, fuck. I'm gonna have to avoid that big ass evil action. I'm gonna give me Phantoma and, uh, what is that? Arimon? That's a fucking Arimon. <laughs> Damn. So the Arimons are different. Because they're a lot bigger than the uh, regular uh, one-eyed bats. So the smaller ones are called evil eyes. But this one's called Arimons. So Arimon is like one of those enemies in Final Fantasy that have been around for the longest time. They're like fucking Koweros and Behemoths. So I'm gonna head into the, uh, the town. Fuck, it's so fucking close to get there. Yet it's so fucking far away. Alright, so I'm engaging the enemy right now. I'm just trying to get an angle on him. You know, I'm just gonna um, cash in my EXP instead of uh, worrying about every single time <laughs> just heading into town. And, uh, because even though it might make the battles easier, maybe the battles are like. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do. Attack that thing, got victory. I'll be able to Phantoma over there. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna go for now and uh, head into town, see what they have going there. Because I'm gonna check my abilities and stuff, and um, I would check the equipment, but I really don't know like what the difference is. Like, I don't really pay attention to equipment much. Only time I pay attention to equipment in games is if like the equipment is actually like, it actually has a look to it, you know? But other than that, I really don't pay attention to it. So those are all my characters. Check if I can get any abilities going. Um, I think I have a new ability for... Yep, I got a new ability for 7. I'm getting more accustomed to their names now, so that's pretty cool. But I gotta keep a lookout for any of the 1 AP abilities that they have. So I can learn a couple of things here. So I'm gonna learn the um, Whirling Lance. The Agility Down one. So I think it's better to visit the town every now and then to uh, get some new abilities from my characters because it makes them stronger for battle. Also the Alter Crystarium too because for the characters, I mean when I'm in battle I don't really use a lot of abilities but for, for characters that are in the reserves who are fighting alongside me, when they, when they come out they use everything. They use abilities, they use magic. So the Alter Crystarium is extremely important right now because um, I can increase the magic and they would just automatically like make the battles that much easier. So I'm gonna just do that right now. There we go, I increased the power of thunder magics. So that's pretty cool. Let me see my defense. I got my uh, protect on and yeah. So that's about it. The only thing about it is that these uh, when I'm leveling up abilities and shit it takes up like most of my let's play time, even more than the combat section surprisingly, but it's necessary to make the combat easier, so yeah, let me just run around this uh, area right here, this general area, just run around in circles. I would venture out, but I'm trying to stay as close as possible to the town, just in case I need to uh, head into there again. Alright, so we got the first strike, let me just uh, try to get an angle on this one. So they got stronger enemies here, which is good. Because I can get a lot more EXP bonuses. But um, I have to be careful. Because their levels increase like crazy. Alright, so. But I'm going to continue this on the next Let's Play.